welcome back to my channel my name is renee if you're new yes these are blue light glasses do i wear them when i'm not looking at technology yeah why because they're freaking cute today's video is going to be kind of like a little luxury nighttime vlog you guys are going to spend the night with me i am going to make it a super dreamy and cozy vlog i have plans for a luxury bath at eight o'clock we're gonna make it super super cozy and just like have a chill night in there are severe thunderstorms here in the city and it's just like the perfect time for a super dreamy cozy vlog today's video is going to be sponsored by chic hydro silk they sent me over a ton of their goodies i am literally stocked for the year we're going to be talking about these two bad boys they sent me over the chic hydro silk 5 sensitive care hydro boost so this is a razor that i've actually been using for years now it has five curved blades it's hypoallergenic has lasting hydration i'm not just saying this because it's sponsored but i've been using this for years now and it's the best razor it is the most like your skin just feels so smooth after this i have super sensitive skin so the fact that this is made for sensitive skin i think just like really does it for me it's super gentle i love it and then they sent me over their chic hydro silk touch-ups these are perfect for exfoliating your face touching up your eyebrows it's the best I love these things. So you got the sensitive care for your legs and armpits. You got the touch-up exfoliating wand for your eyebrows and any facial hair removal that you need. Head to toe hair removal. And you feel like you just walked out of the spa all from the comfort of your own home, which is going to mesh perfectly well with today's vlog. I will go ahead and link all the Chic Hydro Silk information in the description box, so don't forget to check them out. Let's go make a luxury bath. Y'all have no idea what's coming. so luxurious it felt like a freaking spa i've been like in my feels lately so it's just like it hit this hole you know and the cbd bath bomb i'm just feeling so relaxed like all my muscles and tension is just completely over i did a little bit of self-care so i exfoliated exfoliated my body put on some self tanner and then i went ahead and tanned my face i used the tanning drops which you just like drop a little bit of tanner into your moisturizer and apply it to your face i'm gonna let it sit overnight and it will develop and i'll look like a fresh tan new woman i'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning my apartment is a freaking disaster and it's not pretty so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna make it super cozy throw on the fairy lights look at some city views and just enjoy the little thunderstorm that is tonight i feel like it's already starting my windows are like morphing and there's like all this wind noise but i'm kind of freaking loving it because it's just like a vibe right now like i'm feeling very cozy are you guys getting the same vibe i hope so so you live in the dream You should see it through someone else's side Another cipher to break While the grass grows underneath my feet nice and clean and cozy that like honestly just sets me up for such a calm state of mind like a little 
right set, you know? I am gonna make some comfort food because we're trying to be cozy today. Recently, obsessed with hot dogs. I think I'm gonna make a hot dog. I've had like five hot dogs in the past two days. I grew up eating hot dogs. It kind of reminds me of my dad and I when we were younger. Like he would make me hot dogs. I'd use ketchup, mustard, and relish. All my kid friends at the time uh, were super basic because they're children. So I guess they didn't like create a taste yet for relish, but I was like the only kid at parties that would like eat with the adults because I would put ketchup, mustard, and relish because my dad taught me well. So yeah, it's just like a really good comfort food for me. We're gonna be watching Waterworld, which it actually is another movie I kind of grew up on with my dad. So all the comfort right now, all the comfort. While we wait for the water to boil, I am going to kind of go through this like brain dump that I did. I sometimes will like literally just write out things on this little whiteboard. I got this from Amazon. I get a lot of questions about this. So what I'm going to do is just kind of take a picture and do a sweep through, kind of erase everything and kind of just like organize it. I find like sometimes when I'm in my head a little bit, it's just because I have so much going on in my head and like ideas and stuff that it can become a little bit loud up there and just kind of like overwhelming. So I just write anything down just because that's how I operate. And then once I'm like in the mindset to like, like a clear mindset, which I feel like I'm in right now, I do a lot of self care, like resetting, if you will, um, cleaning and you know, just feeling like I hit the reset button. I will organize all that brain dump. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. I feel like you probably think that I have so many different habits and I just like slack on them and then like restart my whole habit tracker, but I have learned the beauty of kind of just expanding and altering your habit tracker depending on like where you are in life, your mindset, all that kind of stuff. So I typically will have like a different habit tracker or like reminders on this whiteboard like once a week I'll change them so uh this week I'm not gonna be like tracking them because it's just like mentally I'm not, I don't think I'm like wanting to do that so I just put it out some reminders so I have eat meals at the table I started this year so strong like I ate breakfast lunch and dinner at the table we had a protein we had a carb and like some veggies and we had lots of fruit in the morning and i've just been slacking i also want to focus on my apple watch rings i recently just got an apple watch it's really cool they have like this fitness app you basically have to like close the rings there's one for like your active calories there's how many times you stood up during the day and some other one i forgot played with it for like a week two weeks now and i want to start focusing on making sure that i accomplish all that so that i can like really be healthy with my body. I also have go with the flow. <laughs> I've been like struggling. I think like I am just a perfectionist sometimes. So I'm like, I put a lot of pressure on myself. I feel like once I start doing that, especially with work, I like lose the inspiration or like interest in it, you know? So like, I'm really trying to just like pick up the camera and vlog, like not really have a set like plan. When I do that, I just feel better. So. Um, and the content comes out way better. Hopefully that will help. Um, and then I have filter free half and half. So I kind of opened up about this on my Instagram. I feel like I've seen a lot of people release the like filters on Instagram, which I'm really liking, but I find it a little bit hard to do, which I think is so unhealthy. Like I'll look at my pictures and if it doesn't, I don't really, I don't do like Facetune or anything like that. I just use the Tezza app for my pictures and it just kind of like plays with the colors, which I really like. But now I look at like my unfiltered photos very differently. So that's not healthy, I don't think. I also really like making pictures pretty and like aesthetic and I think it's like kind of an art but I'm gonna try to like do half and half instead of all like edited pictures I'm gonna really try to focus on posting like filter free stuff um half and half though and then I made a little routine for myself I feel like I just not I don't know what the deal is something's wrong but I just like I'm not like in a routine maybe that's why I'm just like kind of all over the place I don't really have some a set routine so I decided Monday through Friday workouts but I designated a specific workout for Monday through Fridays Monday will be cardio Tuesday will be legs Wednesday will be arms and abs Thursday will be swim and Friday will be yoga and then Saturday and Sunday I have off and then on Thursdays and Sunday I put a little dot next to them because that's going to be my reset days. I typically only did Sundays but I found myself like midway through the week losing like motivation and inspiration because like my apartment was all over the place. I wasn't like taking care of my like self-care like physical body and like mental health. So I think Thursdays and Sundays I'm just going to designate 
to be like self-care days, you know, like basically what we did today and just kind of like hitting that reset button and getting like your thoughts and collective mind together, you know? And then I wrote on here app limits. So I have an app limit on my Instagram. I do for like an hour. If you have an iOS, you just go to your settings and click on screen time. And then you can set app limits for whatever apps that you have. I'm just like looking at a whole bunch of stuff on Instagram and not really living like in my physical moment. And I think like we all get like that. And I think sometimes like we know when we're like mentally being affected by it. And I feel like I'm at that mindset right now so setting an app limit for myself and like taking it seriously is something that i wanted to start implementing right now just because i don't know i'm getting angry every time i go on social media and that's not good i work obviously in social media so i post and a lot of my stuff on instagram is work related so i gave myself 45 minutes because 30 minutes typically i would use for like posting or something like that like any Somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes especially if i have like a brand deal or something like that and then that will leave like 15 20 minutes as kind of just scrolling time and i only follow family and friends and i'm gonna really try not to go into the browsing section because i feel like that's when i kind of get sidetracked and start like getting angry and like reading comments i feel like now I've, it's such a loud world right now like i think we used to go on social media and it was just like if anything we would compare ourselves which wouldn't be great but now it's just so freaking loud like there's so many opinions and so many rights and wrongs that it's like consuming you know and it's just draining honestly i'm only going to be focusing on the people i follow especially for this week not that i'm going to be like that forever but i just know when i need to like reel it in and right now i'm feeling like i need to reel it in so my water is boiling let's go make a freaking hot dog and be cozy